Darling, I'd love to, but it's family night. I'm out with my sister, the family lawyer, and there's always Juliet. Oh, I've had so much confetti thrown at me, I feel like a flaw in the Atlantic. <laughs> Mass exhibitionism, Juliet. An escape for the mob. There's Larry. Where is he? That's no way to take in the morning cross. Yes, I know, but I don't. and ship her back to her nearest relatives. Yes, of course, you would. Yes, I would.
been to a circus since I was in short pants. What? Nothing. Nothing. I just said I hadn't been to a circus since I was in short pants. Oh. <laughs> What's funny about that? Oh, nothing. Just picturing you Raise a forty cents to pretend to send a dollar ninety eight. Didn't know you needed money. Why didn't you ask me? Well, I didn't realize it. Stop this fooling. You've got my ticket. I think that chap was trying to rip me. Oh, no, Henry. Yes, yes. I had an experience once before with one of those boys in New York. Yes. Oh, yes. really? Only he was very clever. Yeah. At the oh. end of the performance, he made an American flag come right out of my hat. <laughs> Not really. Yes, in New York. <laughs> <laughs> go, I get. Oh, I hate these Mardi Gras. You can't tell the actors from the customers.
dance better. Oh, thanks. There's something in the air. <laughs> Oh, nothing. I just have a bit of a headache. I'm going to get something for it. Want me to come along? No, thanks. It's just one of those sudden attacks. Oh, one of those. And maybe I'd better go along. Oh, Henry. Hey, hey, have a heart. <laughs> I didn't know you so well. I think you'd have one too many. What's the matter with you? You've been crazy. Oh, I don't know his name, Muggins, but he knows how to kiss. How do you tell them? Now, Larry, you know perfectly well you can't get aspirin in a flower shop. No. Those roses. Oh, they're just in fresh. We call them climbing Herbert Hoover. And you can't send roses. They mean... I'll take the last. Oh, yes, sir. There are four dozen. I object. Objection overruled. Four dozen climbing Herbert Hoover. That is practically inviting a breach of promise suit. I wonder if I'll ever see him again. What are you talking about? Perkins, it happened just like that. I'll take him about it after the show. Well, you'd better. Now, look, Henry. You've done your duty by Aunt Barbara. Now, you don't want a long play. Four dozen climbing Herbert Hoover's. Would you deliver this to me? Miss Sunny? Yeah. How did you know? Well, if it weren't for Miss Sunny, we'd be selling peanuts around here. Oh. My friend Hector here does the most remarkable trick, extraordinaire. It's French. He see. He done filthy whistles, he juggles, and draws the new map of Europe with his tail all at the same time. Which for tonight only. We will get. Uh, uh, no, 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 Hector. I insist. I insist. I insist. Come right back up here. How's the headache, dear? I'll be all right as soon as the aspirin begins to work. <laughs> well, what was it to be? Supper in her private tent with an elephant pouring champagne? Might be exciting at that. Yes, the Jaded Palace. idea of a nice apology. He has nothing to apologize about. I asked him to kiss me. You did what? I asked him to kiss me. Climbing Herbert Hoover. Muggins, I'm going up to your best dress out in that howling mob. Oh, you should see him get me through that howling mob. Bonsoir, 
pas, monsieur Warren. Je vois le vous. Uh, il y a longtemps que je n'ai pas vu. Comment allez-vous? Yeah. 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 Uh, this is my sister, Miss Warren. Miss Warren, meet and Mr. Bates. Any friend of Mr. Warren is a friend of the Ross. Uh, Larry, we'll be back in a moment. Je vais vous chercher une table. La plus bonne. La plus bonne de ma tante est très bonne. I know that one. Now, Larry, I'd be very nice to this little Juliet girl. Of course, why not? After all, the runny needs, you know, they don't grow trees. And you're Aunt Barbara. Look, Henry, for 364 days out of the year, you can be Aunt Barbara's watchdog trying to run my life. But tonight, why don't you relax and have a little fun? Be a switch guide and go yodeling through the gap. Uh, yodeling? <laughs> Fancy yodeling at my time of life. <laughs> yeah, de la la <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> You will all start off with our famous deluxe oysters, of course. Oh, not for me, thank you. I don't care for oysters. Oh, you haven't tasted a deluxe oyster. No, and I don't think I shall. I think I'd rather have some, uh, some uh, turtle soup. You won't like it. My dear sir, please, don't argue with me. I am a lawyer. And I'm a chef, and I can recommend you the oysters. But I hate oysters. But they don't taste like oysters. Well, I don't want oysters that don't taste like oysters. I want turtle soup that does not taste like turtle... Larry, 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 listen, I've lost him. Please, Dolan, please. Hello, hello. Are you sure, Freddy? I've been here since 4 o'clock and nobody's been around. Hello? I'd like to speak to Miss Sally Sullivan. Morgan, somebody wants to talk to her now. She don't want to talk to anyone. She's got a date. She's gone. She's gone. All right, thank you. I'll put your oysters on the fire. Turtle, soup. Still no sign of him. Sure, Markins, you know what they're like out there. I'm only telling you what Freddie told me. He's been on duty since 4 o'clock and he never slips up. Oh, well, have them sent over to the hospital. It's a gracious to pleasure. You were right, Markins, as usual. Down with three. I got two. Next hand, we'll play without cheating. What's that, sir? Honey, hmm? remember that rain check? That I do. Well, it's raining. Good up? Hmm? Best time, and I don't like it. How about some coffee and donuts? Coffee and donuts? Egghead, bring along that breakaway suit of yours. We're going places with Sonny Sullivan. <laughs> Full house. Oh, let's go someplace else. Oh, no, sis. This is the best food in the country. All right, but well, I am famished. What is it, Larry? A horse. Why, Elizabeth, it looks like the horse is standing around in the circus, doesn't it? No. <laughs> this is the mama of Sea Biscuit. <laughs> Oysters to wash, of course. Of course. I'm awfully sorry that I had to be so firm with that oyster peddler, but I was determined to get what I wanted here. The turtle soup, sir? Oh, thank you. I don't believe you like the restaurant. I do like it. I do. In his place. But I think it's the place of every good restaurant to realize that the customer is always right. Even when he's wrong, he's right. Ah! <laughs> wait! <laughs> wait! <laughs> What do you want? A little bit of everything. I'll get off your drink. What's the matter? Have you seen a ghost?
I know what you must think of me for breaking my date, but I have a very good reason. Yes, I saw her. Yes, you saw her. Well, now, don't mind. I'll get back to my friend. Ah, uh, but I do mind. Sorry, Sullivan, you're going to have supper with me. Oh, am I? Mm hmm. In the stars. No, that's not fair. You know very well an Irish girl would want to cross even one star. Oh, come on, let me show you how to get a ten-course dinner in New Orleans without ever leaving the sidewalk, all right? Oh, not a bit hungry. Fresh party stream! Here comes the first course. Oh. Have you tasted the Louisiana shrimp? No. What smell? Punk. Got I know just the place to get the next course. Automobile magnets, me? I'm just a hard-working engineer. Well, how about Warren Moses? Oh, that's my aunt Barbara. Oh, all in the family. Yes. You know, the Warren family's been in the automobile business for over 25 years. Oh, upstart. What? You know, the Sullivans have been in show business for over 300 years. Oh, hello. My sister could have only heard you say that. <laughs> Evening, children. We got legs, wings, breast, ham, and hose. I'll take wings. Same for you, sir? No, Mammy, I'll take a half. I'm not the type for wings. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Hey, Ted. Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, what is that there? It's Eustace. Eustace? Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, I mean, most girls would be afraid if they saw him up. Come on. <laughs> You're doing well. Aunt Baba will be delighted. There, Julius. <laughs> you know, Egghead, lots of men have told me that they're in love with me. Really? Uh-huh. You don't think my money has anything to do with it? No. <laughs> what kind of money have you? Oh, about two million. Two million? Dollars? Two million dollars and you run around like that with... Hold in your clothes. Where's Sonny? I wouldn't know, my good man. Egghead. Oh, uh, uh, Professor uh, Bunny Billings, Miss Juliet running me. I know. <laughs> what could have happened to her? Oh, sister's all right. I wouldn't worry about her. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Tuesday. Fat Tuesday? Yes. 
Last day, you can eat all you want. Hello, oysters, Rockefeller, Coubillon, Gumbo, Crepe Suzette. You'd want to eat a Crepe Suzette if they could get an apple taffy. A taffy apple? Uh-uh. Apple taffy. Everyone knows that. Look, I come from a long line of taffy apple eaters. The warrants were noted for it. So don't try to tell me about a taffy apple. You don't even know how to eat one. You no. Know? Oh, oh. No true apple taffy eater would ever begin by biting into the side of it. Why not? That's the spirit of adventure. Now, an Irishman always starts by biting the top of the apple taffy. All right. Apple taffy, apple apple, you win. But only because I don't want to spend the last hour of mine to go arguing about a taffy apple. Apple taffy. Only one more hour. Apple taffy. Well, the bells of St. Louis ring out the Mardi Gras. When does Cinderella hate his clocks? What? <laughs> a little bit of meddling bluebird. Sonny. You remember the first time you were thrown into my arm? Just about a hundred years ago? Mm -hmm. That couldn't have been just an accident, could it? Mm -hmm. Suppose I bought him two coffee? Oh, all right. Where are we going? French market? Come on, you'll see.
your farewell performance at your age. I can't believe it. Well, you expected me to get married sometime, didn't you, Morgan? Well, I didn't expect you to be picked up and kissed by a strange man and come home engaged all in the same night. Oh, what a night. <laughs> Louisiana shrimp, fried chicken, apple taffy, and the Mississippi. Yes, I'd love that indigestion. You're on, Miss Sullivan. <laughs> Here it is. Which one's he going to marry? The one with the pipe. Jolly blue boys, two tried and true boys. They call me Sam Garb. I'm Jack Garb. Ha ha. Talk about women, they fall for a garb. Can stick to your job, kneel down and swarm. Say, really, go blimey. That's new from a limey. Eh, beat me, say, the race is a bar. We do the on pipe when Neptune gets rough. No boogie woogie. The on pipe's all stuffed. and married the Maharaja. Aunt Baba. Well, he must have been in love with me because the day I left, he got himself engaged to eight lovely girls on the rebound. I told her to be careful of that one. I'm sorry, madam. I was a little startled. You'd better get him up right away, Johnson. Uh, yes, madam. Oh. Oh, your lovely perfume. Perfume? That Scottish queen under the blister at the bottoms of your feet. Aunt Baba. Now, run along, Lizzie, and get me a bottle of beer to take in my bicarbonate. Yes. Oh, hello, Henry. What's the matter with you? Rushing me back here just because Larry got himself engaged to Juliet Runnymede. Juliet Runnymede? Won't you sit down? No. May I? No, those are my dual pistols. Presents from the Maharaja. I taught him to rumba, and he taught me to shoot. Shoot? Shoot. Father, about me. Well, what about him? Juliet is a debutante who came out a little too late, but she has two million dollars. Cowboy taught me to do that. <laughs> it may be loaded. Yes, of course it's loaded. As a matter of fact, Miss Father, I'm not going to marry Miss Running. Well, I'm rather pleased he isn't going to marry Juliet. There are just as many girls with just as much money who aren't half-witted. Yeah, but this girl is no one you know. No? Who is it? Well, she is. She is. If you don't mind, I'll tell you over there. 
Miss Carroll here. What am I aiming at now, Henry? Now? Oh, it's that beautiful inlaid clock. Larry is going to marry. That is... That... You stop that double talk, Henry. It certainly doesn't look like a clock to me. No. Oh, yes, there's a clock. You met this girl in a circus. No, that's nothing. I met the Maharaja on a Ferris wheel. But this girl is of the circus. She rides in the circus on a white horse. She dives into a tank. How quaint. She what? She is a circus horseback actress. <laughs> My, what a good shot. The Sultan's horse. Henry, I was not aiming at the horse. Say goodbye in show business, or I'm just going to slip out when nobody's looking. It's a lot easier that way. You'll understand, won't you, Paddock? <laughs> will be keenly felt, not only by myself, but by your co-worker. So what I'm trying to say is, we'll miss you. And with your leaving, we all feel like folding up. But instead, going right on, doing as good a show as we can. Don't ever think that any of us here will ever forget you. As a little tribute, we've Hey, where is it? Hey, hey, hey where's hey, the property hey, man? Where's oh, that property man? Where's that property man? Where's that property man? Where's that property man? She's got to wear them over there. They are. <laughs> this is from all of us. From the roustabouts on up. It's, uh, well, we thought of uh, getting you an icebox. But we figure the Warrens have plenty of electric iceboxes. <laughs> something for you to wear when you meet your ritzy relatives. Uh, don't open it until you get there. I'm going to be. Went for a long walk. I believe he said 
through the swamps. Uh, Johnson, this is my fiancée, Miss Sullivan. Hello, Johnson. How do you do, Miss? Excuse me, sir. Well, Johnson approves. Well, that's the first hurdle. And this is the second hurdle. Excuse me, sir. It's the factory. You mind if we for just one minute, business? Oh, I should say not, darling. This is no time to be losing your job. <laughs> At seven o'clock, there will be a light meal served in your room. At eight o'clock, Miss Barbara Warren will receive you down here in the hall. And if I may say so, Miss, that means eight o'clock. What a funny way to esteem people, sitting way out there in the middle of nowhere. She's been receiving like that ever since she saw Queen Victoria do it in Buckingham Palace. Hello, baby. Oh, there you are. Yes, here I am. Well, what the... How are you? Oh, all right. Now, where is she? She has two minutes yet. She won't be late. She'll probably make up for lost time by riding down the stairs on a white horse. Heaven, she looks as though she just won the Kentucky Derby. Darling, this is Aunt Barbara. Hello. Elizabeth, you know. I suppose this is what you'd call making a grand entrance. In other words, darling, in behalf of the Warrens, welcome to Waverley Hall. I haven't seen that many orchids since those gangster funerals in Chicago. Yes, they're lovely, aren't they? Everybody in the show chipped in. They were a farewell gift. Sentimental for being out, too. Well, it does kind of bring them along with me, you know. Huggins and Barney and Egghead. And I suppose that is the tattooed lady. <laughs> Let us go into the drawing room. Oh, now I know why you call her the old dragon. Don't worry, darling. Aunt Barbara's bar is worse than her bite. Oh, well, that's some consolation. Johnson, get me a drink. Yes. An old-fashioned with a dash of absinthe. Yes. Muggins. Egghead. Runny. Oh. First time. You remember Riverbird? Maybe the lock was getting close to you, isn't it? Oh, all right. Don't you dare tell Muggins. I promise. Oh, Fitz. This is up in Miss Sullivan's room. Take great care of him. Watch out for distress signals. You're no never take me eyes off you. Poor little Muggins and the tattooed lady had a short life. Sit down. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful to be her sister-in-law? Well, thank goodness that'll never happen to you, Miss Judy. Sullivan, Sullivan, what branch of the Sullivan? Oh, my grandfather came from Inniskillen. Oh, the hunting Sullivan. No, the flying Sullivan. The flying Sullivan? Yes, darling, the flying Sullivan. My grandmother was the greatest in Europe. It isn't everyone who can boast of a family tree in which her own grandmother actually swung. Well, what are we going to do now? Are you going to stay here all night listening to that chamber music? I didn't think we'd need any other entertainment with so much home talent. You'll sing for it, of course, sir. I will. Not. Don't tell me you sing, too. Oh, I've really not got very much of a voice. Oh, go ahead. I hate people who have to be coached. Come on, sing. Larry, will you play for me? You bet I will. You can sit down now. You sing. You know what I like to do? Get right in the middle of that floor and shout. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes. yes. Oh, Henry, don't you just love music? Especially the three Bs. Three Bs? Oh, oh yes, of course. Bach, Beethoven. And Boogie Woogie. What's she going to sing? Nothing you're apt to know, darling. 
you going to sing? Comes your boogie woogie now. Did you tell her that was my favorite song? All right, Miss Barbara. I never said a word. I thought not. On thy cheeks, I'm profaned by a tear. My grandmother learned that song from Tom Moore himself. She's a calculating little wench. Oh, which time will but made more dear. Oh, a heart that has to Buy her off, Henry. Buy her off? Buy her off. We can sing a little song, too. Orchestrated with a checkbook. And I know just the tune to sing. that you take good care of her. She's very valuable. Possibly Miss Sullivan would be interested in Larry's collection of birds. He's stuffed variety. He's been collecting them ever since he was a very small boy. They're in our library. Uh, well, darling, what is it? What is it? Take me away from this bleak party. I'm going to bed. Sit down, please. Sit down right there. Miss Sullivan, as you know, I am the Warren family lawyer. More or less Larry's guardian. Uh, more or less. Yes, you've made that quite clear. Thank you. Has it ever occurred to you how nice it would be to have means of your own? That is to say, to be absolutely independent. Well, no, I've never really thought about that. That's Larry's concern, sure. After all, when two people are very much in love, you know, they just don't discuss those things. Come, come, come. You don't mean to tell me you're really in love with Larry. Strange, isn't it? <clears throat> it's different. I'll have to appeal to you. Hey. You see, you're not the only one who loves him. His family loves him. They want him to be happy. They're uh, uh, jealous. Jealous of those who can contribute to his happiness more than they. Very nicely put. Exactly what I was going to say myself. What do you know? Camille, third act. Is it? Oh, that's my soul. So it is. Tell me, how is it possible that you, who've been bobbing around on horses and diving into tanks and a circus girl all your life, would know anything of Camille? My aunt, Kate Sullivan, rocked me to sleep rehearsing. Kate Sullivan? Oh, not the Kate Sullivan. The Kate Sullivan. Oh, no, not the great Kate Sullivan. The great Kate Sullivan. Your aunt? Was my aunt. Not really. Not really. Why, Miss Sullivan, she was a great actress. She was one of the greatest actresses that ever lived. Would you believe it that I saw her in Camille in the old Lyceum Theater in London 21 nights in a row, and the last night of all I sent her a bunch of great big viol... Uh, uh, what were they? Uh, peonies. I'm sure Aunt Katie was very touching. I never forget her in the last scene where she said, I'm not going to live very long, Alma. I shall not live till spring, Alma. Yes, that was it. That was, that was it, yes. And then he said so tenderly, don't be afraid, Camille. Courage, Camille, courage. Oh, of course, that was a famous line, wasn't it, yes? I was needing some of it myself. You remember the final scene? She's 
tiny. And she handed him the little mirror. Silver mirror? Picture. 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 Yes, yes, it was. It was a picture. And she said, if anyone asked you, say, um, Someone who loved you well. Kate Sullivan herself. Oh, you're marvelous. So are you. Aunt Barbara will be delighted when she hears you've reached the factory, Miss. Uh, Courage, Henry. She's... Poor Henry. I'm beginning to realize why Larry fell in love with you. May I give you a little advice? I just got away from Aunt Barbara. Good night, Eric. Why, what's the matter? Oh, you promised not to let Elizabeth get you down. Larry, please, in the morning. Sniveling about. Oh, I can lay with that. Sit down. I frightened you, didn't I, Charlotte? I frighten everybody. You know, Sonny, you're the first real human being that's been in this family since Jean the pirate. He was on my side of the family, of course. Want me to roll you up? Oh, no, thank you. Call me Aunt Baba. Go ahead. Try it. From the moment you told me why you wanted to wear those orchids, I knew you had stuff. Why did you send Mr. Bates into? I sent Henry so you could make a fool of him. From what I hear, you did better than I expect. Oh, I only hope Larry is good enough for you. Well, that isn't what I was thinking of a few minutes ago. I know. Planning the courageous exit. Why exit courageously? Why exit at all? I'd like to help. Now, I want you to promise me that you won't do anything noble and ridiculous before you see Larry. Go on. Promise. I promise you. And now, you just stamp it out. Or let it blaze. I want to be keeping you safe. Blind leading the blind. That's what they call. I'm the black sheep of the family. Well, I better get in now. I dare. Giving me the sniffles. Good night, Aunt Baba. But if you ever tell anybody about me being an old softie, you ought to see me with the Maharajas. Dueling pistols. <laughs> Indeed, 
darling, you've got me worried. What's the matter? Oh, Larry. Well, what's that for? Oh, Mama. She's so... So un unexpected, yes, I know. But she's all for you. I know, Larry. What about all those others? Oh, forget it. Yeah, tell for what is. Honey, they'll be in the palm of your hand before the first tax woman. Elizabeth? I'll take care of Lizzie. Look here, darling. I don't care if the whole bunch walk out as long as you walk in. You sure, Larry? Am I sure? Are you quite sure? Honey, look at me. Do you love me? Be beneath of Kate Sullivan. Kate Sullivan, as you know, the late, great Kate Sullivan. And fancy Spangle Swimmer. He numbered among her repertoire such marvelous plays as Camille, Ibsen's Wild Duck, Shaw's Pygmalion. Yeah, today became the bride of Lawrence Warren, millionaire auto manufacturer. After the brilliant ceremony, the young couple left for a honeymoon in Hawaii. <laughs> of course, you can't really say that. They're not even married yet. <laughs> You'll find a list of the bridesmaids and all the other junk on my desk. Something old, that's me. Something new, that's you. Something borrowed, here. That was once a brand new penny that I was to wear in my shoe on my wedding day. Oh, Aunt Barbara, you never know. Nothing told. to tell. He was a lieutenant. Handsomest boy you ever saw. I wasn't so bad myself then. Same little thing like you. He heard somewhere that my family didn't think he was good enough for me. We broke it off. You never saw him again. He died last year, a general. Confounded fool. If he hadn't been so stubborn and married me, he'd been commander-in-chief. Papa, they don't know you very well, do they? No. I don't talk my fool head off to everyone. You punch that out for me, Russ. I can get to the track this afternoon. Yeah, I'll be here for a couple more highballs. Young man. If you were sent to cover a murder, you'd at least have the decency to remain until the crime was committed. My apology. All right. Well, I must go and get the rest of my war paint on. I don't suppose there'll be many more weddings for me in Waverly Hall. Oh, something blue. Oh, <laughs> Things borrowed. Things blue. Oh, 
lady. Where did you get the church? Well, uh, anybody standing on the stairs. <laughs> Drop your passengers, park in the rear courtyard, your number's 91. Yes, sir. See who that was? Yeah, they're all here today, the whole blue book. Drop your passengers, park in the rear courtyard. I wonder what her people are like. My dear, people like that haven't got any people. <laughs> Can you imagine Sunny's surprise when she sees us? Ah, uh, Governor, that's what I call a bow gesture. If I'd had to close the show for three weeks, I wouldn't have missed the wedding. Boys, don't forget the timing. As soon as the I do's are over, I make the announcement. Then Hector comes in with a big horseshoe. <laughs> no. That's what I said, Hector doesn't. We don't in. want Hector till the finale. Well, that'll make him awfully angry, boss. We better leave him outside. Wild elephants couldn't keep me away. Oh, how's everyone? Oh, where is they? What's a new girl like? Fair. Patty doesn't like her. You never could pull a horse. Oh, <laughs> Margie! <laughs> Let's have a look at you. Oh, you look like a million. How do you feel? Terrible. <laughs> Only three lines at the top, but I couldn't be more nervous if I had to go on and play Ophelia. That's fine. Now I know you'll give a great performance. I've tied lots of these askers, Larry, but never on such a memorable occasion. Imagine the niece of the great Kate Sullivan. I'd like to punch this guy. Now, careful. Don't you lose that temper of yours. I had those reporters absolutely eating out of my hand when I told them about Kate. Yes, I know, but some of this stuff's not funny. Why don't you leave us alone? Have you an invitation, sir? Uh, no, but I'd like to see Miss Elizabeth Warren for a moment. Would you sit? Good morning, Johnson. Uh, good morning, ma'am. How do you do, sir? I'm sorry, but as you see, there's a wedding going on. Oh, I know. That's rather important. My name is Billings. A funny Billings. We can. You'll see that she's ready to leave her room by 11, won't you? Yes. There's a Mr. Billings to see you, miss. He appears to be an itinerant tradesman. Johnson, you know I can't see anyone now. Uh, quite so. Oh, Johnson, did he say his name was Bonnie Billings? I believe he did mention a Bonnie. I'll see him. Yes. I think Elizabeth is bearing up magnificently. Well, she realizes nothing can stop it now. Haven't you finished this thing yet? Calm down, now calm down. That's all you have to do. Just take your cue from me. There. Now, Larry, when I pull out the ring, why you were the ring. The ring. I had it. I had it right there in this pocket. I had it. Well, whose who's, who's wedding is this? What are you getting nervous about? Let's get your veil on, dear. They want you downstairs in just ten minutes. Oh, if you please. No, no. Fefe showed me exactly how you want it put on. Will you give that to me? What would Fefe know about dressing Sonny Sullivan? That's been my job ever since I made her first little ballet skirt. Oh, Mrs. DePeister. This is Mrs. Muggins. He used to help me in the show. How do you do? How do you do? Oh, would you mind? Mm -hmm. Certainly not, if you wish it. She wishes it. Just ten minutes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, she won't miss her cue. Do you know, Egghead, all my life I've wanted to be in the circus. Not really. You know, Winnie all wanted to be out of one. Oh, how quaint. Killing you. <laughs> Listen, fellas, you're all in here on passes. No tricks. Don't worry, Governor. The monkeys and the elephants will be performing for us today. Major, I said no tricks. Johnson. Be nonchalant, boys. That means in French, why? Hey, somebody just had to write a sealskin coat. So what? Nothing. 
nothing, only you just walked in. Walked in? Victor, <laughs> what are you doing here? Don't you know there's a wedding going on? Hi, <laughs> Major. Well, how do you do? Good to see you. Uh, uh, the minute I spotted that seal, I know I'd seen your face before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, meet the governor, Bully Billings. Remember me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, who are you? I used to cover Baltimore for Variety. Caught you act in Washington. Yeah, so you did. Uh, had the pigeons then. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, of course. They were drafting. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they booked a wedding out of half-baked loudmouth animal act. Oh, Egghead, I just adore show talk. How about giving us a break? A few pictures on the society page would be a big help. Why not? How about a fellow? Sure. Okay, yeah, right. Come on, Egghead. Get in this All thing right. here. You're trying to steal a show, huh? We knew this when you joined the circus. We'll smear that guy with a mahatcha. We'll smear him with a mahatcha? The mahatcha, it's a dance. Oh, but I can't dance. You don't have to dance. You just come along for the ride. Get out of the way, Major. Here we come. Jive, Gypsies, jive. Elizabeth, the ring. Have you got the ring? Of course not. You have it. No, no, I have it. I have it in this pocket all the time, but now it's... It... Oh, yes. Oh, it must have been in this pocket all the time. <laughs> oh, dear. trying to find out. Well, will you stop it? Never did I think I'd see the day when a seal would be waltzing around in Waverly Hall. Yes, now I know you're drunk. Oh, I wish I were. I tell you, you've got to do something. About what? About the seal, about the acrobats, about Juliet running me, doing the Mahootka with fried egg roust about. What are you talking about? Down seal upstairs in your drawing room. Can they come downstairs right away, dear? The bunch. They're ad-libbing all over the parlor. The bunch? It was supposed to have been a surprise for you, but it's gone all fluey. Oh, Muggins, but I can't. It's Larry's season for the wedding. It's bad luck. The 
be worse luck if you don't come down, darling. All right. Mr. Warren, how about one with you and the seal? I'm sorry, Mr. Warren. I, I guess we kind of broke things up. Get out. All right. Shut up. Back. Get out or I'll throw you out. Hey, Rube. Lay off. Mr. Warren. Do you know what hey, Rube means? In exactly two minutes, where well, Waverly Hall once stood. But don't worry. We're going, quietly. But only on account of Sonny. Look, mister, take your train seal and your monkeys and get going. Larry! Don't interrupt me. But Larry, these are my... Get you out of this sort of thing. You don't have to marry me to get me out of anything. Now, Sonny, keep out of this. It's bad enough without you making a scene. Me making a scene? Isn't that what's been expected of me ever since I came here? Wasn't I supposed to come riding in on a white horse or sliding down a tightrope? Take it easy, Sonny. It'll be all right as soon as I get the gang out. Now, wait a minute, buddy. My friends will stay. Your friends are going. All right. I'm going, too. <laughs> I wouldn't treat one of them for a whole bunch of snobs you call your friends. We've been thrown out before. Run out of tank towns and two-cent carnivals. But we always stuck together. And that's the way it is now. Then we'd better call it off until you come to your senses. Don't worry. I'd come to my senses just in time. I'm glad this happened when it did. That's the way you feel. Sonny. Hold your horses, Sonny. We've got to straighten this out. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's leave him on a laugh. Get some water, Muggins. Oh, no, I don't want any water. Russ, kill that wedding copy I gave you. Now, the impressive ceremony just turned into a brawl with seals, acrobats, elephants. No, I haven't been drinking, and the bride and groom are having a knockdown drag out in the middle of it. Honey, why did you bring them in before the wedding? Oh, that Warren dame, uh, Lizzie, insisted. Come on, I'm all right. Sonny, you may need this. Thank you. I'm quite sure you need this. <laughs> wow! The charming bride just kicked her sister-in-law right in the middle of the lobby. <laughs> Sonny? Sonny? Oh, wow. that's what I always wanted to do myself. What's going on here? It's all off, Aunt Barbara. What is? Oh, everything. Operator, operator. Too late, but you gotta kill it. Hang up down there. I want the police, this is important. Hang up yourself. Listen, Russ, I'm not kidding. She kicked your sister in the lobby and the wedding's all off. The wedding is off. Oh, get me the police. Get me the fire department. Get me an aspirin. Would you care to make a statement for the press, Miss Warren? Young man, for once in my life, I have nothing to say. Don't, Muggins, it's all right. Oh, but it does. We broke it up, and I can't bear it. It doesn't matter, Muggins. I guess I'm not much good at drawing room stuff. This is where I belong. You'd belong anywhere, Sonny. <laughs> Something borrowed. I've never been away. How's the house? It's breaking my heart, turning away by the hundreds. No. Every seat gone could have sold out three times over. Oh, that's wonderful. Hey, a minute. There she goes. I'll be waiting for you. Right. Come on, Muggins. I hear they couldn't even give the man any seats. Well, it's a good thing somebody's still interested. Sonny Sullivan, if you're still thinking about this. I'm not. Say you're not. How oh, you could think you could get along without all this. I must have been crazy. I'll say you were. Doors open. 
Once more, then we'll break it up. I should say so. Rehearsing for three weeks, and every day it gets worse. Sonny. I'm ready. There's a riot at the box office. They want tickets I haven't got. Gotta call out the police. Oh, that's swell. Well, Gideon, if I can draw a crowd like this by doing a few stunts, I might get them to come and see me in a legitimate show. Of course you could. It means a lot of hard work, though. Well, that's the idea. Well, you know, Aunt Kate always used to say every actress needed a kick in the pants before she not to anything. You gave Lizzie enough of a jolt to make her a Sarah Bernhardt. change to your sunshine costume? Oh, sure. Why? What's the idea? I'll tell you what I want to do. I'm going to hold a parade for the finale. Start with my new number, then sunshine. I don't want them to see you until then. It'll be a sock opening for you. Oh, buddy, you're a darling. Thanks. Come on, Patty, you can relax. We got seven. You've got to hurry, honey. We only got about two minutes. Mm -hmm. Isn't it like Bunny giving me such a break on a night like this? Are they standing them up yet out there? Oh, 
can't see a thing with all those spotlights on Bunny. They're so quiet. Be a tough crowd. You've never had a better audience in your life. Good luck, Sonny. Oh, thanks. Think of all those other fellows. Not one of them would ever have walked out on a performance. Not one of them ever played to an empty house. When I say empty, I mean empty. Go and tell them that. Muggins, you knew about this. Me? Oh, Sonny. Well, I'm sorry, but if he buys at every house I play, I'll still do the Well, I think you ought to go back. Well, I'm not going back, Muggins. I'm going straight ahead. I've made up my mind. Stock in Connecticut. Broadway. Sounds awfully dull to me.
to join my show, offering half interest in water to streamline Chobo. I... Right and going up, Miss Sullivan. Hey, Sonny, take a look at the shore. I've got them right up and hitting hatches. Honey girl, you're my honey girl. 